What is going on everybody? Sparks Comics here. It's New Comic Book Day. This might be coming out the day after New Comic Book Day, but uh, got lots of cool things to talk about this week. Couple, um, uh, at least one or two new series to uh, check out this week, and lots of good indie reads as always. So stay tuned for that. First of all, as always, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, drop a comment below, let me know what you picked up this week for New Comic Book Day. Welcome back everybody! Let's talk about this week's New Comic Book Day. Lots of good things to read this week. I have not gotten to read a lot of it yet, but I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. We'll talk about more more about these books later on. Um, so first up, we've got from Aftershock Comics, Seven Swords, number one. This one I have gotten to read. Um, and it's an uh, interesting new uh, like Three Musketeers kind of story um, taking place after it. Lots of uh, swashbuckling going on. Um, really cool in, in that old, uh, old sword, sword fighting uh, type of story. So... Definitely one I'm going to keep reading because it's got an interesting premise to it. Uh, the back gives you a little bit more information about some of the characters too. So that's really cool that they uh, all the Aftershock number ones have some sort of uh, interesting like back piece where they talk a little bit more about the characters. So I like that. Uh, and I hope they keep doing that in the, the rest of their number ones. Um, also from Aftershock this week, a uh, book that had a really solid issue number one. Silver City is on to issue number two. Um, excited to read this and check it out and see what happens next um, in the afterlife world. Uh, one that uh, I've gotten to talk to, uh, Caroline and I have gotten to talk to the creator, Pat Shan. We've got Destiny New York number four. It feels like an extra thick one this time, so uh, but still a $3.99 cover price, so lots of story in, in, uh, in that, and um, I love the back. I love the back here. So, Pat, if you see this, awesome, awesome details that they added there for the back. Um, on to Boom Studios, we have Berserker number three. Um, this is issue three of 12. We'll see uh, where the story has taken us at this point. Um, three is kind of where I make a little bit of a decision on do I want to continue. I think I probably will with this one um, just because I'm interested in what's happening with, like, his history and the science stuff that they're doing with it um, even more so than just the action piece of what's going on but we'll we'll see what happens here and I could not pass this up Jenny Frizen doing a Berserker variant it's beautiful um, beautiful artwork uh, I, I just love this um, also from Boom The Many Deaths of Layla Star number three guys this has been such a good read I can't wait to see where this issue takes us um, with, uh, well, with death. Um, <laughs> and uh, death may be dying some more. And um, a new one from Boom this week. We have Save Yourself, number one. Um, when I read what the story was about, I almost got this... Uh, for me, the premise sounded like um, the Powerpuff Girls, but gone bad and uh, evil, but still kind of saving lives or making it look like they are. So uh, this this should be interesting. Um, it starts out really, like the art inside is really cool. Actually, you, you flip it open, you might get a little concerned because there's pixelated art, but it is one of the characters playing a video game and then uh, we can see some of the real art in here and this is just beautiful. Uh, it is a boombox title, so an all-ages title, maybe geared a little bit younger, but I haven't felt that any of the boombox titles have been too young targeted. Uh, I felt like uh, I loved the ones that I've been reading. Uh, the Last Witch, Spectre, and Spectres, both great titles, and uh, so I'm ready to check this one out. Picked up this ratio. This is the one per store unlockable one. Uh, my store didn't get the one in 25, which is also this cover art, but the trade dress. 
Figured let's uh, let's go for the one in store, one per store. We got them looking very evil in that picture, and that's why I wanted this one because I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then lastly from Boom Studios, we have Seven Secrets. On to issue number nine. Tom Taylor has just been really just killing this story. I love it. And uh, let's see what he's about to get up to in this issue. I picked up something new from DC this week. Static Season 1, Milestone Returns. Um, guys, I have never read Static. I didn't watch the show. I know that is surprising thing about me. Um, I want to watch the show. It's on HBO Max, so I am going to be checking out the show and uh, checking out this story right here. Uh, it'll be interesting. I've heard so many good things about the character and about the show, so I am ready to see what, what happens with this. Uh, moving on, we've got IDW, Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, on to issue number five. I've been enjoying this more than uh, Star Wars The High Republic. Uh, so I'm ready to see what happens next in this. And the last of the connecting covers for the 1 in 10 ratio variants is right here. Um, so now I can, I, I can uh, stop my collection there of the ratios and just continue on with uh, cover A's for that. Uh, I think that's my plan. I wanted to get that set though because it looks really cool together. Um, so i got to post up a picture of that at some point on Instagram for you guys. Um, moving off of IDW, we're going into Image this week. We've got Home, issue number three. Uh, this has been a solid start to the story. Uh, maybe a little bit less in, in issue two. I'm thinking, though, with what they're planning, issue three should pick back up uh, and take us somewhere good. So, again, another issue three. We've got a couple issue threes this week, so this might be where I can... I might drop something. We'll see. Talk about it later once I get to uh, look through all of them. Radiant Black, this week we've got issue number five. Issue four had such a twist and a um, turn in the plot that I I was almost ready to drop Radiant Black until they did that. And so seeing that happen, and um, this is a, actually, it looks like a larger than normal uh, size story here. And it's still um, still three ninety nine. So again, I like that. You get some quality extra story pages in there, uh, and that might see a real turning point in the story. And so, um, yeah, I'm in it. For, I, I think I might be in this for the long haul. Now we'll see what happens with issue five, though. Uh, Silver coin issue number three here. Again, um, this one is an anthology series. Same artist, uh, Michael Walsh. But this story is by Ed Brisson. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we ever get some connection between the silver coin and how it gets from point A to point B in all of these stories. I think that will be the case. Might not get them. Uh, we haven't been getting them. Issue one and two didn't connect or seem to connect in any, any way. So we'll see what happens um, going forward. Stillwater, Chip Zdarsky, one of his really good independent things that he's got going on um issue number eight this week um this story's gotten wild in the last couple issues so i I'm, I'm so excited to read that i don't think there's a book this week i'm not really excited to read uh, which is good that means there's not a book on my pool list that shouldn't be there uh time before time issue number two this had a solid start uh, really cool cliffhanger slash kind of plot twist at the end of issue number one. So uh, we'll see what happens into that issue. And one from Mad Cave Studios that everyone's hyped about. Um, I've been reading it since issue number one. Nottingham. We're on to issue number four now. Got some cool uh, back cover art here as well. Um, if you guys don't know what it's about, think... Um, Think Robin Hood, but a uh, lot darker, more a little bit of a noir take from the sheriff's perspective, and a lot darker. Um, just uh, unbelievable. Actually, not noir is not the right word, but like uh, more like the detective kind of side of that. But um, yeah, moving on, we're moving back uh, to a uh, big two publisher. We got Marvel. Only book from Marvel this week is a magazine, essentially. We got Venom number 200, or Venom number 35. 
the end of Donny Cates run on Venom. I just picked up the cover A. Um, $9.99 price tag. I wasn't going to pick up extra copies of this, but uh, it was a solid end. This is the ending that I think everyone was expecting to see in King in Black, at least this level of an ending. Um, but uh, yeah, this this was good. Way better than uh, King in Black number five. So um, thank you, Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman, for ending on a high note there. Um, I'm curious as to how uh, Al Ewing and Ram V are going to take over. I imagine one of them must be writing um, one character story and one might be writing another character story in the Venom title. Uh, but maybe they're, they're co-writing the same story. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. Um, but I can see how we might have two, uh, two coinciding stories going on by the, the two writers. Um, moving out of them, we've got uh, Scout Comics here. Stake number four. Uh, super excited for this. Um, I've been digging this story. I really like the uh, the art and like the color splashes going on. So, um, ready to check this out. Um, been talking with David Byrne. He's going to be coming on the channel next week. So, stay tuned for that. There'll be a, a official announcement coming soon. But uh, David Byrne next uh, Thursday, he'll be on the channel, um, and uh, we're going to talk about steak. And what else he's got going on. Um, and then it was a little bit of a lighter lighter week on the wallet. So uh, I picked up uh, Umbrella Academy Volume 2. We've got um, Dallas for this one. Loved reading Volume 1. So I picked up this to check that out. Um, and that is it. That is my pickups this week for New Comic Book Day. Time to read them all because... Uh, I want to be able to tell you guys what I think about them and uh, let you know what what I think is uh, you know the reads of the week um, and uh, do some reviews for you guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you've made it this point and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like the video and drop a comment below and let me know what you picked up this week for New Comic Book Day. As always, collect what you love and I'll see you guys next time.